This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. So the next thing I wanna talk about, speaking of um, kind of getting this stuff dialed in, is the difference between online and in-person adjuster training. So if you're watching this video, um, the ch chances are pretty good that you haven't done claims before yet. And maybe you've taken some training, maybe you've taken some of my training, maybe you've gone to MoCAT or Veteran Adjusting School um, or any, there are a myriad of tons and tons of other training outfits in the US um, that are designed just to teach property adjusters you know, what drywall is, how to write an estimate for a carpet, how to use Xactimate, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you really have two main choices. And one of them is online, right? Which we can say, I can do this, online versus in person, right? So I kind of want to go through basically the, the pros and cons for online versus in person. Um, and I'll start with in person because I think, in, I think it's, um, even though I teach mostly online, so I'm a little bit biased, I think that in-person training is absolutely invaluable. So I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna kind of spoil the end for you guys. Um, I would say, if you can, do both, right? But there are advantages and some disadvantages, but they're you know more like just small obstacles or, or minor challenges to both. Um, the, the main advantages to in-person training are that you're going to be able to stand in a mock-up house with an instructor and other students and maybe an ins instructor's assistant and feel the things, look behind the wall, right? Touch the insulation, then wipe your hand off because it's gonna you know, get sticky. Um, get the little pins and things in it because of fiberglass. Uh, and you'll be able to have um, in-person interactions with instructors, especially with the, the software and things like that. Somebody can come over and lean over your shoulder and move your mouse around for you or point at things on your screen and, and that sort of thing. And you can ask questions um, and, and have that more kind of person. I and mean, we're human beings, right? Having a personal in-person um, experience is, uh, I think it's really helpful for learning, right? And especially for adjuster training, especially for the scoping piece and probably for the software, um, having an, an in-person, and this doesn't go for everybody, but having an in-person instructor is pretty helpful for a lot of people, right? So that's probably the biggest pro for in-person training. Um, forgetting all of any other like bonuses and extra things that, that any company might throw on or any trainer online or in person where we might say, well, you know, we'll also do like post graduate graduation mentoring and we'll do, um, you know, we'll hand you off to our, our partner I firms or whatever those things are, right? That's independent of whether it's online or in person. Um, Cause most, a lot of in-person trainings will offer that stuff as well as at least Adjuster TV offers post, you know, uh, course completion, mentoring, um, community, um, additional trainings and things like the sort of ongoing, sort of really long tail to the sort of mentorship that we, we offer with our training, right? So, but in-person is, has some tangible benefits, right? You're, you're in the same room with the person, you're able to, um, you know, it's, it's, it can be a more conducive learning environment for a lot of people. Um, but, so that's a pro, right, for in-person. The cons, of course, are there's a couple, right? And the, the primary one is that, um, and anybody who does in-person training, probably gonna, I hope you take this to heart, um, a lot of them are not recorded, right? So in other words, there's you're sitting in a classroom all day long for four days or 10 days or six weeks, right? And nobody's videoing all that training so that you can go back and watch it later, right? So if you didn't quite pick up on something at some point, or you wanna rewatch something, or you really wanna drill down on one part of the process, um, you're, you're pulling it out of your memory, or how good of notes you took when you were sitting there in class, right? And certainly a lot of these places will have books, and they may have webinars and things like that, or like extra resources to help you along with that. But the primary thing is, especially if you're doing like eight hours a day in a training, you're not gonna have, uh, the ability to go back and watch that, right? Um, the second um, kind of con or a little bit of an obstacle or small challenge with in person is that you have to um, pay for a hotel, right? And in, in most cases, there's veteran adjusting school, um, the the housing for students for each each period 
or you know, eight, every six weeks, they're, you know, for with their classes is included, right? So they have every the houses that you're going to scope and, and a lot of them that you're going to look at also house the students, right? Which is a big bonus. And people, I think people forget that that that's probably out of that the the big tuition with that that's probably a good solid minimum, probably quarter, maybe even a, up to a third of the of the total price of that of that program is housing, right? that you could write it off as housing or, you know, like your hotel or whatever. Um, so you're going to, you're going to have to pay for a hotel, right? You have to pay for travel. Um, also in-person training because of its very nature means that, Hey, these are the dates that we're doing it. Right. So it's, it's a uh, Monday, July 31st through, you know, Friday, August 3rd or whatever that ends up, whatever the math is on that. Right. That's the week we're doing it. If you can't make that, you can't come, All right? So you're SOL. Our next one is in September, right? So our, our next one after that is in November. Um, so that's one of the drawbacks, other drawbacks to um, in-person training is, is that it's, it can only be in person when the instructor's there and they're, ta- they're actually teaching the class, right? Um, so there's, there's uh, you have to figure out, t- to carve out time in your schedule in order to go attend this, as well as come up with the expense of travel to that to the wherever that is, and if it's you know if it's in Arizona, I mean it's all the way across the country for some for a lot of people. Um, a lot of schools are centrally located in the U.S., but if you're in North Dakota, or you're in Colorado, or you're in Maryland, that's still a long drive to you know Texas or Alabama or Missouri or wherever it is. Um, so there's expense with that plus the hotels, um, and then of course you know you're eating probably eating out at a restaurant every night, <laughs> um, which you know. That can be fun, I think, for a little while, but it can get expensive, and it also can make you fat. You know, it's not great for your if you're if you're if you're trying to eat healthy or whatever. Eating out it all the time is is not helpful. So, um, you can get certainly creative with that, but that's that's one of I think one of the drawbacks because it's just a lot easier. It's a long busy day, and and this is goes on cat when you get actually deployed on claims. It's the same deal, right? You're like, oh, I'll just you know I'll bring a little cook stove and I'll just cook and. Well, let's see that, right? You're not going to have time to like sit down for an hour and a half and cook yourself, you know, a steak and some pasta and some broccoli and a salad and everything else. You're just going to run through a drive-through because it's going to take eight minutes, right? Probably including eating it. Um, you're not. You're, that's how little time you're going to have. Um, so let's talk about online training, right? I think there's a lot of different varieties of online training. Certainly, I think that there are probably more varieties of online training than there are of in-person, in-person training. Um, it's, and it really kind of comes down to the, the delivery, right? So ha- the, the topics are going to be typically close to the same. Uh, but in person, you're sitting in a classroom or you're going to a mock-up or you're going to like a, a scoping house or whatever. And you're, you know, that's that's basically what it is, right? With online training, you can do um, one training that we've done recently um, in the past year as uh, live online, which has one of the drawbacks of in person in that these are the dates that we're doing it, but the it's kind of negated or sort of canceled out because we recorded everything and every question that everybody had was recorded um, and it goes into a platform or kind of a um, and the video, you know, you have eight hours a day for five days a week, and then those videos are broken up into individual lessons, put into a platform in an organized way, so that later you have, you know, you can use that as a reference, right? So every all that you basically you can watch the training as, again as many times as you want to, go back, pause, rewind, fast forward, watch it slow, watch it fast, whatever you want to do, and all the materials are in there, so everything's all kind of in one place, right? So that's you know one of the benefits of 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 doing online trainings and one of the, the delivery methods. The other one is something that may, that may be already pre-recorded and you pay a fee and then you just access it at your leisure. So it's self-paced. Um, and then of course you can do, um, you know, live webinars. There's a whole bunch of different things that, that, that a lot of people do. Um, but I think if you want to do a little bit more of an apples to apples comparison, um, a lot of the training that you would do in person, you can absolutely do online. And that would be, um, you know, most of those are going to be self-paced, right? So module one might be, let's learn Xactimate, right? So Xactimate level one and two. Module two might be, now we're going to learn about policy, and then we're going to learn about scoping, how to move around over and through buildings and properties the most efficient way. Um, how We're going to learn about 
writing estimates, writing a scope of damage, how to take photos, all that kind of stuff in a detailed, systematic way that you can take at your own pace, right? You don't have to travel, right? You don't have to pay for a hotel. Um, you, you pay for it and then you have access to it forever, right? And it's the same fidelity as the first time you accessed it, the, the 101st time you accessed it five years from now, if you really needed it that far in the future. Um, so there's there are benefits to this. The drawback certainly to online training is that you don't, you're not going to be able to stand in the mock-up house and, you know, touch the wall and look at things. Um, but, you know, that's probably, really, that's probably the only drawback that I can think of. And it's it may be a drawback that's not really a drawback because you can, you know, the, the thing about claims and property insurance is that for the most part, Building is a building is a building, right? A house is a box. And most houses, modern construction in the US, is drywall, framing, insulation, and then exterior surfaces, and then stuff on the floor, right? And then, which would be carpet and final wood, tile, right? That sort of thing. And then you've got cabinets and things like that. You're not usually, and it depends, uh, but not usually, you're not usually replacing framing plumbing or electrical or like appliances and things like that, especially on the cat side, unless you're doing fire or you're doing like water claims. And even then it's still gonna be mostly finished surfaces, right? Because if, if framing gets wet, then they just let it dry out or they clean it and dry it off, depending on what got it wet, of course. Um, you can use your own house, right? So it's not like you, do. the only way you're gonna be able to look at home construction is by going to, you know, Kansas City and spending 10 days there, um, you can look at your own property. If you get, if you don't have your own house, if you live in a van, right? Hashtag van life. Lots of people in this community actually. Um, then you can go to a friend's place. You could stay at Airbnb for a night, right? And you can look at this stuff. Um, so there's the drawbacks I think to online aren't necessarily, um, if you added up the cons to each, I think the online is gonna win, right? I am biased, so take that with, with what it is, I'm gonna to be totally transparent with you. Um, I don't do currently, at the moment, with July of 2023, I don't do any in-person training. That could change, certainly. Um, but I think it's, we can get more high quality training in the hands of more people, which is what the industry needs, by making it as easy as possible for you to access the information that you need that walks you, that c collects it all together, so you're not having to piece it together from YouTube and social media or whatever, collects it all together in one place in a simple step-by-step -step blueprint that will get you from not really knowing anything or knowing a little or having just some pieces here and there to knowing everything that you need to know to be effective and to, to uh, represent yourself as uh, somebody that the I firms and the carriers aren't gonna be afraid to, uh, or aren't gonna be too worried about putting you out in the field, right? So you, you wanna look for any training, whether it's mine or anybody else's, you wanna look for uh, testimonials, case studies, you wanna contact IA firms and uh, find out how well, the, you know, if, if they use adjusters that went to this school or that school, right? And I think you'll find that there are, um, there are a handful of places that pop to the top um, I like to think adjust at least for my partners, Adjuster TV certainly pops to the top. Um, for uh, my partners, IA firms, um, but do your research, right? Look for, look for what, what you think will work for you and your budget and the time constraints that you have, right? In person may make sense. It may be like, well, we've, we've got the money for that and we've got the time and let's go do that because we're gonna get an in-person you know, kind of an experience or you wanna do it at your own leisure in the evenings, nights and weekends. Um, you don't wanna to have to be beholden to a schedule. You also, another drawback to in-person, um, you don't wanna be like, there's a person in the class that um, it's, maybe this isn't clicking quite with, and so they, they need a lot more help from the instructor um, and everybody's sitting there waiting for that person to get the extra sort of remedial help that they need, right? With online, you're not, you're not having to deal with that, right? Um, and there's certainly benefits to having uh, people asking questions that you didn't think of in the in-person stuff and, and being in a group, a classroom of students, but we can pick that stuff up in the community groups and the, the live Q&As that we do every single week, at least with Adjuster TV. So we offer that as part of our training programs. Um, 
So pros and cons. Um, I'm, you know, if 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 I was, I'll put it to you this way: if I was just assessing um, online versus in person, I had no training whatsoever, and I was just an experience adjuster, and I was just talking to you on the street or like at a we met met at a conference or whatever. Um, I would lay it out in the exact same way. I would say well, in person is 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 pretty good, um, and it's, in a lot of ways it could be preferable, especially if you're if you're coming from absolute zero. Um, this may be the way to go. Um, if you have, if you kind of have a, a little bit of a grounding in it, and you've got some people that you can talk to, um, or you're strapped for time and money for travel and hotels and things like that, um, and you want to be able to access this later at your own leisure, do it at your own pace, and you don't want to have to, um, you know, be going as slow as the slowest person, which is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. And as instructors, we have to do that sometimes. Be going as slow as the slowest person and you're not the slowest person. So you're spending a lot of time just kind of sitting there waiting for the next thing to happen in the class, then online's the way to go, right? So that's my two cents on online versus in-person. I think they're both absolutely invaluable. And, and if you can stack those, right? So go to MoCat and then take Adjuster TV's Fast Track to Deployment course Put those together, you'd be absolutely unstoppable. And it's still, still, when it was all said and done, it would still be less than the cost of a semester to get your bachelor's degree or your associate's degree, right? With those two trainings together. And you're gonna make a lot more as an adjuster than you will as an underwater basket weaver or a high speed skipping, you know, major, whatever, right? So that's my two cents on that. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.